Now we will continue with the QTP output value. In the previous videos, we basically got started with creating QTP output values for the mortgage, out, the mortgage calculator. So we did put some inputs into the mortgage calculator, and we did put an output value checkpoint, an output checkpoint, and we we're checking for the monthly payment and then the output of the monthly payment. The total of the output is getting generated in here during runtime. And then we created a quick conditional statement, which is we are checking the output value of this, whatever value we get in here during runtime. If the value is equal to $944.89, then print pass. Otherwise, then print fail. So let's run this real quick and see what happens. Let me just make sure that all of my browsers are closed. One second. All right. So I'll just click on run, click OK, and let's see what happens. So it basically navigates to mortgage calculator, it enters the text, 100,000, 80,000, 4.8, and then it tries to capture that value, and it closes the browser, right? So let's wait until the test is finished. Okay. So we saw this happening, entering this text into the mortgage calculator. And at the end, what happened is that it captured the value. And in the end, it also compared that captured value to this value in the conditional statement. It tried to read that value, the output value, and it checked whether the value is equal to $944.89. And it printed some value, right? So let's check the printed value. This is the quick test print log that, that gets generated based on whatever print command that we provide here. So let's open that print log and see what happens. So as we can see, we have a pass. The reason is it found this value to be equal to $944.89. So this output value is what got generated during runtime, and it found the value is this. It's equal to this. So let's try to change this. Let's try to change this, and let's see what happens. Let me change this $944 to $945.89. Let me close this, close the print log, and do a debug run, okay? So, so again, a debug run is something that we can use if we want to execute step by step. So we click on debug, step into, click on OK. We can click on this step into or F11. So I click on that. The first step will get executed, which is opening the browser. The first step is all the opening the browser. That's what happened. I can see my home page. So Yahoo came up. Yahoo News. Of course it's Kim Kardashian picture. But so it, it did it did open up the browser. So execute the next step. So the next step is all about clicking on the browser. So click on step into again, and it navigates to mortgage calculator. Click F11 again or step in again. Here it entered the first value, 100,000. Let's execute again and again, step into, step into, step into. Click on calculate. And it did click on calculate. 
And if we scroll down, we'll see that we have $944.89 is the monthly payment. So at this point, at this point, it will check for the output, which is $944. So execute this step. And let's click on view and the data table. And we can see that during runtime that this value, this column has some value. This is, this is basically $944.89. So whatever value we found here captures that, this value and that will be what is written in this column monthly payment okay now if we execute that let's execute this step and this is the step that will check that this output value is nine hundred forty five dollars and eighty nine cents instead of forty four dollars if this is forty five dollars and eighty nine cents then it'll print pass otherwise it'll print fail So we execute this step again. As you can see, it's, it's it went straight to line number 18, which is a fail. So if I execute again, it will try to write that. It will add that to the print log. So if I click on my print log, I'll see that it has written fail because it did not find $945. It found $944 instead. So click on step into again and the last step, you know, close the browser. Let's wait for the test to complete. Okay, so this is done. What we basically did was create an output value and we compared the text in the conditional statement with, with a pass and fail log and this is the same kind of testing that you'll be performing for a lot of runtime values, just like the mortgage calculator. So in the next video, let's try to, to do something else with our output checkpoint. And let's continue with the last type of output values.